Hello friends, this video on statistics part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The relative humidity in percentage of a certain city for a month of 30 days was given. 30 data. So we have to create again group frequency distribution table. Okay. And they are given the class distribution class 86 is common. So it is a overlapping class. Which month or the season do you think is data all about and what is the range of the data. So let's create a grouped frequency distribution table as asked and they have given the class uh, dish size also. It start from 84. 84 and if you see the minimum data, what is the minimum data? So I could see 84.9. So 84.9 is one I can see. Okay. And what about maximum? I can see 98.3. So it looks like this is the maximum. And I just found maximum and minimum to see how many classes I have to create. And it is mentioned that the class will be of this range 84 to 86. Next is 86 to 88. And in this class size is 2. So for non for overlapping, we just have to uh, find a difference of upper and lower class to find class size. So class size or overlapping is nothing but upper limit minus lower limit. Okay. So in this case, we are assuming the class size to be same for all. So if it is 84 to 86, the next class can be 88 to 90, then it can be 90 to 92, then we have 92 to 94, then we have 94 to 96, 96 to 98, and the maximum is 99.2 to 98 to 100 will cover all this data. Now let's put the values in the table. So 98.1 will come here, 98.6 will also come here, 99.2 will also come here, okay, 90.3 will come here, 96.5, will be here, 92.3 will be here, 97.1 will be here, 93.5 will be here, 92.7 will be here, 95.1 will be here, 97.2 will be here, 93.3 will be here, 95.2 will be here, 97.3 here, 96.2 here, 92.1 here, 84.9 here, 90 Point two here ninety five point seven here ninety eight point three here ninety seven dot three here ninety six dot one here ninety two dot one here and eighty nine this here. So let's see how many this is one. This is 1, this is 2, this is 2, 5 plus 2 is 7, 5 plus 1 is 6, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 4. It's all, add all these values to be double sure. 2, 4, 6, 13, 19, this is 30. So that means we are correct. So we have created the grouped frequency distribution in this case, and this is an overlapping scenario. Now the question is, 
which month or season do you think this data is about? So if you see, the maximum values are of this range, high rainfall, right? If you see, so maximum rainfall, humidity is very high. That means the rain is very high. That means we are talking about rainy season. You see, the days where the humidity is less is less. The days where humidity is more is high. That means we are talking about rainy season. What is the range of data? Range is nothing but maximum minus minimum. Okay, so maximum in this case was 99.2, minimum was 84.9, and you subtract this. Yeah, range is 14.3 percentage. That is the range. Range is nothing but max observation data minus minimum observation data. Okay, so with this distribution table, you could say that this is a rainy season. Let's take one more example. The height of the 50 students are given. We have to represent this data in a group frequency distribution table. And in this case, it is overlapping. The upper limit of the class and the lower limit of the next class is matching. So it is overlapping and you have to see what we can conclude. So if you see here, the max minimum, dist minimum uh, height I could see is 150. And the maximum I could see is 172, 173. That's a minimum axiom. So the class which we'll be creating will be of this range 152. This will be what? 155. Why? Because they've given a sample class and the class size is what? 170 minus 165. That is 5. Please note there's a overlapping class. So the class size is nothing but the upper limit minus lower limit. So next will be 155 to 160. 160 to 165. 165 to 170 and 170 to 175. Let's start our game. 161 here, 150 here, 154 will be where? Here, 165 here, 168 will be in this only, 161 will be here, 154 will be here. 162, here 150, here 151, here 162, here 164, will also be here 171, here 165, in this group 158, in this group 156 in this group, 172 in this group, 160, 160 will be in this group, 170 will be in this group, 153 in this group, 159 in this group, 161 in this group, 170 in this group, 162 in this group, 165 it will be in this group, 166 will also be in this group. 168, same group, 165, again same group, 164 will be in this group, 154 will be in this group, 152 will be in this group, 153, again the same group, 156, this group, 58, this group, 62, it will be this group, 160, same group, 161, same group, 173, this group, 166, this group, 161, this group, 159, this group, 162, will be, this group, 167, this group, 168, this group, 159, this group, 58, this group, 53, 
this group 54 this group 59 so if you see the data this is 12 this is 549 10 plus 14 this is 10 and this is 5 if you add this 21 25 20, 40 so this is matching that means sorry this is 50 21 25 This is 14, not 4. This, this is 50. See, there was the issue. Right? The total was 50 and we were getting 40. So that means we had an issue here. So it was 14 and I wrote 4. So it's 50. All matching. Now with this, what do we conclude? So the maximum range is what? This. So most of the people are in this range. Okay. And that is the conclusion. Most of the people are in this range 162, 165. That is the typical average height of the student. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.